All right, how's it going, guys? I'm the Fallen Sanctum, and here we have the IRL Shine Greymon deck profile. I hope you guys are going to enjoy. Um, I'll be putting the cam down, and we'll be talking. The deck's not a hundred, a hundred percent done, but this is the 1.5 Shine Greymon list that I've decided to work on. Um, there are going to be plenty of other in real life deck profiles, so don't worry about it. We are going to be having a blast. Now let's get into it. Alright, nice Harpy Judge play, Matt. Thank you, Jordan Chidori, for the hookup, as always. And uh, let's start. So, we got one Upamon. Uh, I feel like starting in BT3, uh, Upamon is just a great starter alternative to Cupimon. Uh, the ratios are subject to change. Give me a second. Uh, stupid window. It's that time of day where you know the light is really annoying. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, four, uh, four, four Cupimons and an Upamon. Um, Cupimon's just the solid initial starter for um, Shine, but I feel like Upamon might be the new meta going forward. Uh, it is. It is clearly just a better card. Now, Tamer lineup wise, uh, this is what I decided to run. Uh, so there, in 1.5, there were no new Tamers. So we are running three copies of Search TK. Uh, Search TK is our memory setter, and when he's played, uh, we can look. We can look at our life, take a card, it, we show the card, if it's a yellow card, we heal one. Like we, we put in, we put we put a card from the deck to security. You don't get to see your security afterwards when you're shuffling. Wink wink. Alright. Then we got Kari Kamiya. Uh, it's really good memory setter. Uh, well she's not a memory setter, she's a memory pluser for like late game. If you have three or less memory at the start of your turn, you gain an extra. And then we got we got what I call the Chad Security TK. So, uh, TK gives all your security Digimon plus 2,000 DP. So, at some point, rookies, like, start killing Megas. And that, that's just pretty funny. Uh, next up, uh, rookie lineup-wise, it's not the final deck list yet, but this is what we're going to be running uh, in the upcoming events and stuff. Uh, we are running two Sukaimons. Uh, Sukaimon is, uh, is a, is a two-cause zero evo. It's really good, it's got the 3k base, it's really good what you're looking for in a rookie. But this is the MVP of the Shine Greymon level 3s. Uh, this thing will draw you so many cards and having hand size in Shine Greymon, unlike other decks, is just so important because it just dictates what you can do. We have another pseudo Labramon in, in, form, of, uh, in form of Geo Agumon. I call him Geo Agumon because he evolves into Geo Greymon or whatever. Uh, but so if you have three tamers in play when swinging as an inherit, you draw a card. So remember, drawing cards, like in the all force, like in all force, is super important because hand size means all. Currently, only running two quad search padas. A uh, quad search pada when he enters play, you look top four, right? And you would add all the uh, tamers you see to your hand. Really good card, but. Due to, due to how we're currently running things, we decided to just run a little less. Now, onto our ultimates. I don't know why we skipped champions right away, but we got the four legendary Magna Angemons. We still feel here uh, on the Fallen Sanctum channel that uh, the Magna Angemon is still a hella solid card. Recover on play regardless. Uh, sure, it'll end your turn. Uh, you don't really use it for its inherit. For every three security you have, you get one KDP. Don't really mind. It's just the extra bonus heal is just kind of good because it has the on play. You got you got of course four Rise Greymon. Uh, so when he did evolves, you take a Tamer from your hand and you play it with its effects negated and inherit. If you have three or more Tamers, Sec plus one really allows you to push, and you'll see why. Now we're moving back down the champions. This is really confusing, but we got the Geo Greymon. If you have three or more Tamers, when attacking, inherit you minus 2k to something, and that's that's really good because it can help you. It can help you like uh, set up smaller attacks where their blockers are gonna die to like champions and stuff. 
because normally blockers have 6k HP. So if they have 4k HP, then you know that kind of puts the blocker in like a detrimental situation. Because normally when you block a weak attack, your blocker lives. But in this scenario, your blocker might not live. Uh, then we got 4 Unimon, classic, it's a blocker, no need to say more than that. This game, uh, we, are running, we, are, we are running kind of a spicy tech, we are running 4 Repamons. It is a very cheap level 4 to play. Sure it costs 2 to evolve, but it costs 3 to hard cast. So you can cast it as, uh, as you would cast a rookie uh, onto the field, but instead you have a champion, so you have even more. We're currently just running 2 Glorious Bursts, because uh, it doesn't have... Uh, it doesn't have a security effect, so I don't feel like it's that amazing and you're not gonna be you like I don't feel like games are gonna go that 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 long unless you're playing against specific matchups uh, Then we are running the two magnas and currently it's still missing one shine, but I'm picking it up this week um, So magna uh, simple explanation if you have three or less life when you play it you you gain two life and When attacking you play a rookie out of your hand so we're not running the on play spice text, but we are playing we are playing four of these Shine Greymon, the big boy. Um, and he is really good because when you Digivolve, you tap all you suspend all of your tamers. Yes, it's not up to, you just suspend them all. And this deck runs ten tamers. So if you suspend like eight, you can deal thirty two thousand damage to the board, like in terms of minus power. And uh, remember with Labramon or uh, yeah, with Labramon Whenever you uh, delete, whenever something gets deleted because zero power, then you draw a card. So like this, this card will draw you a lot. And during your turn, he gains 1k for each tamer you have. So naturally, there's nothing that can stop this in security. There's no Digimon currently strong enough to stop a 16,000 plus point um, Shine Greymon. So that is going to be the Shine Greymon deck profile for you guys. Make sure to check out the channel. We will be having tournament games uploaded very soon for the 1.5 metagame. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Digimon action. There will also be some... Uh, there, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the post on Facebook, but we are currently running six events a week, so make sure to join that Geekitude Discord for more. Thanks. I'm the Fallen Sanctum, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you on a, I'll catch you on a flip side. Take care. Ciao.